Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Twilight. On March 23rd through 24th, auroras spread into the United States as far south as New Mexico, during a severe, category G4, geomagnetic storm, the most intense in nearly six years. The cause of the storm is still unclear, it may have been the ripple effect of a near-miss CME on March 23rd. Minor Geomagnetic Storm Watch NOAA forecasters say that minor G1-class geomagnetic storms are likely on March 26th as Earth passes through a stream of high-speed solar wind. The gaseous material is flowing from a large hole in the sun's atmosphere. Arctic sky watchers should be alert for auroras. Here's a look at the solar wind pressure on Earth, using this model. The pressure is at the higher range of the spectrum, and at a couple of points in the video clip, the wind can be observed buffeting the magnetosphere. There are eight sunspot regions on the Earth-facing side of the sun, shown on this HMI intensity gram map. Here they can be observed on the SD0700 filter, March 23rd, through the 24th. And here's the sunspot active areas covered with the sun's corona. The solar magnetic loops and prominences can be observed covering the entirety of the Earth-facing side. The latest CME that has occurred thus far is at the 7 o'clock position, observed using the LASCOC2 filter. Up next, on the LASCOC3 filter, our CME that erupted on the 25th, is observed, preceded by the CME that occurred today taking the same path. Mercury, and Neptune are at the outer perimeter of the C3 filter. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.